Let's head to Muranga County where anti Ndindi Nyoro dem demonstrations in Mukangu are currently happening after locals accuse Kiharu Member of Parliament Ndindi Nyoro of relocating a vocational training institute that was to be constructed at Mukangu to Kiambugi where the legislator comes from. The locals say they are heading to court to block the move since public participation and consultations among the leaders uh, was, consult was, was conducted but they were not consulted. So let's link up with uh, Martin Waura. Martin, a very good morning to you. I understand you are in Mukangu. What is the situation on the ground at this point? Yes, I uh, thank you so much, Zena. As you have rightly put it, yes, that is what is happening here on the ground. And as you can see, uh, you can see uh, residents here of Mokango, uh, some are holding twigs, others are holding placards with various messages. Uh, they are just trying to to put their anger here. They are saying that enough is enough. They are saying that the meat was all right at the mouth, but it has just been removed from their from their mouth. Now they most of them are here. They are very angry. I just want to talk to some of them to tell me why they are, they are angry about the whole thing. But first, I'll start with the area MCA to give me the to give me uh, his views about the whole scenario. Karibu sana kwenye NTV, Ebona MC. Now, I want you to, to tell me what is exactly happening here. Why are you on the streets? Yes, I'm Kamoto Wasema, the elected member of County Assembly, uh, representing Wagawad. Uh, on 21st November 2013, we were invited for a meeting by the county commissioner uh, and all of us, the six MCAs of uh, Kiharu constituency and the representative of the area MP by then, uh, we were invited to, to give a site where the vocation training college can be built. And after a big deliberation and consultation, after public participation, uh, all agreed that the, the vocation training college should be built at the pleasant day Mokago is the Polytechnic Rand. Uh, in, on uh, 10th June 2015, uh, the then member of County Assembly, uh, Moshimaidugo Kangata, uh, wrote a letter to the director of uh, uh, technical programs uh, assuring him that uh, the CDF had uh, located 10, Kenya shillings 10 million uh, as a 10% uh, of what was needed by the, county, uh, by the national government. Now, after the new MP assumed the office, Honorable Dede Nyoro, I requested him to follow the matter so that the, techni uh, the technical school uh, can start right away. But instead of uh, uh, following it and uh, making it being uh, built at the agreed place, uh, he has now snatched it from uh, the work ward and he wants to build it uh, at his home area of Kiabugi uh, at a school land, at a secondary school land known as St. Paul uh, Kiabugi Secondary School. Yes, sir. Maybe uh, what, is your, what is your wish to the area MP and maybe the government that is putting up the college here uh, in, in, in Kiharu? Yeah, to be very sincere, I followed this matter. A lot of uh, times I've gone to the vocation training colleges uh, offices in Nairobi. I've gone to the PS uh, for vocation training college and I've requested them, even the principal for, uh, of the school which is overseeing the construction. Uh, that is the uh, Technical School. Uh, I've talked to them, but uh, they have not given any assistance. So I'm requesting the national government, le led by Honorable Muigai, Uhuru Muigai Kenyatta, and his deputy, to see that uh, the glutton that is uh, being uh, shown by Honorable Dede Nyoro uh, is cut short. Uh, this school should be built at the Agidi place that was agreed on uh, 21st 2013, that is Moka the Mokango uh, uh, Polytechnic Ground. Thank you so much. Let me talk to a resident over here. I want you to tell me, what do you stand to lose if that institution is uh, taken from Mokango to Kiambogi? If that institution is taken from this place, Mokango to Kiambogi, the people of this place are going to suffer. One, we have the students there. And uh, they heard that uh, this uh, institution was uh, elevated by the government. And they are now anxious to receive the new administration and the new uh, equipment and so forth. So if it goes, then there will be uh, a problem. Yeah. Maybe in terms of revenue, what else, do, apart from the learning institution, maybe in terms of revenue, what are you going to lose here? Also, you know, an institution like this one uplifts the standard of living from the local people. And uh, when we... Uh, this thing is uplifted, 
people will start building, you know, houses, rental houses, growing crops here, selling them to the, to the institutions and so forth. So financially, we are going to lose. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Now, um, as you have just had the Zainab, these are just residents who are just here to show how angry they are after the institution that was supposed to be done here was taken to another place. They're saying they stand to lose a lot from uh, revenue that might have been generated from this place. Now it is being taken to another area. And that is, also, that is what I've just managed to gather from this place. Handing back over to you, Zainab. All right, thank you so very much. Uh, there you have it, Martin Mora in Mokangu. And of course, uh, that's a story we'll also be following up very closely on. Now, we understand that the locals are currently in Mokangu area and are up in arms over a move by Ndindi Nyoro, the member of parliament for Kiharu, for relocating a vocational training institute from Mokangu to Kiambugi. Definitely, that's a story we are following up for you. They are right now heading to the court to block that particular move.